People were protesting outside of Fort Lauderdale Mayor Jack Seiler's annual prayer breakfast this morning. That's because a very controversial guest was chosen as keynote speaker for this year's event. Local 10 investigator Bob Norman has the story. When there's injustice anywhere, there's injustice everywhere. A couple dozen protesters I used to cry. came out to the convention center to protest Fort Lauderdale Mayor Jack Seiler's prayer breakfast this morning. We as a community don't welcome hate. The GLBT community has roundly opposed the inclusion of keynote speaker Jim Daly, director of the anti-gay group Focus on the Family, which opposes gay marriage, gay adoption, and is in favor of controversial conversion therapy for homosexuals. That to us amounts to torture. Protester um, Michael Gagne. We elected him to represent us in the gay and lesbian community. and the eight years he's been in office, he has not done a thing to help the gay and lesbian community. One of Siler's own colleagues, Commissioner Dean Trantalis, who is gay, boycotted the breakfast. Writing in a statement, it is truly unfortunate that Mr. Daly was invited to be the keynote speaker when the mayor's prayer breakfast should be a place for bringing all segments of Fort Lauderdale together in a spirit of peace and harmony. What I'm trying to say basically, Mr. Mayor, you're interrupting me and taking oh, from the two minutes. Because you're not on topic. Seiler bristled last week when activist Michael Rayner referenced the breakfast at the commission meeting. The man you're standing up to at the prayer breakfast and we won't reject, who is vilified. But Seiler said in a statement that the message of the breakfast would be one of inclusion and there would be rude and arrogant of him not to go to the church sponsored breakfast. The LGBT community needs to know where he stands. Now there was a message of inclusion at that breakfast but we can't show you that because our camera was barred from going inside. In the video report on Bob Norman, Local 10 News. And Mayor Seiler also told Bob and Local 10 it was actually the church group that chose daily to speak at his breakfast, not him.